Okay, this is going to be somewhat of a short video, but I've seen lots of people discussing how uh, that they're trying to use the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator, but it, they don't have AVX on their, maybe it's an older CPU, or maybe it's a certain Xeon processors, which should be fast enough to run the, um, the, um, the, the emulator, but then they still don't have the AVX. So, I can show you real quick... Um, what I was trying to do is just I wanted to see if whether or not the Odroid H3 Plus would run the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator, but it says, you know, that it's not, uh, it doesn't have AVX, so it won't let you. So I'll show you, number one, this is, they got the uh, uh, Intel Pentium Silver, and then um, it's the H3 Plus, and over here, I've got it, you know, to make sure it stays at like 3.3 gigahertz. Um, you know, it's over, I guess overclocked is the word for it, but you can go in the BIOS and tell it to leave it at that speed. I got 16 gigs of RAM, and I will show you that, um, emulators, Xenia. So, when you run a Xenia, it immediately gives you this AVX. So, people are like... I've seen lots of people say they cannot get it to work. And I've even seen some, I guess, some stuff on Steam that's unable to get people to work. So anyway, so I have a um, some documentation here that shows you... Scoot this down, it's so big right now. Um, and I'll put this in the details so you can do it. So first thing I want to do is I downloaded... Sipping. Um, Intel software. It's the SDE, the Software Development Emulator. Okay. And when you scroll down here, the first thing on the list is Linux. You don't want that one. You don't want the second one, which says Windows, but it's only 9.8 kilobytes. You want this one down here. It says 26.3. So you download the SDE and this version, right? I'll put this link also in the description. Download the third item on the list, okay? So then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to type in um, power. Power. Okay, so I got my PowerShell open here, but I haven't clicked on it yet because I want to go down here and make sure I say run as administrator. It says, are you sure? Yes, you want to run as administrator. So now I need to go to. Um, where I have the SDE software, which is I in my downloads. So here, so I want to copy this real quick. I want to say CD space and right click, and, and so now I'm in the folder. Bam. So the other thing is, is that in uh, this here, I want to type in this command here. So I'm going to copy it, and then I'll show you. It's the SDE.exe command, then the .lvb, which is, and then the, I want to run just the Xenia software, just, just that particular um, thing. But I'm in, alright, so I'm in PowerShell, and I'm in as run as administrator, and I'm saying run the Xenia software with this command. The IVB is, I want you to pretend and make this program run as it's on an ivy bridge ivb is ivy bridge so now i want to hit this and we I just showed you that the xenia application would not open and now it's going to open let's see so you can see up here now however since we're emulating the avx uh, acceleration part it's going to take it a lot longer to load I'll at least want to show you that it will load a game, and then, of course, um, what it does is it takes a while for it to finish loading because it's trying to load a piece of software that it normally would have a different um, a different functionality. It's, it's emulating the functionality, so, you know, it's an emulator on top of another emulator, so, <laughs> as you can imagine, and then I'm not running on a super fast computer here. We're talking about a Pentium Silver and an Odroid, which is you know, compared to my other power. So, 
looks like it finally popped up here. So I'm going to say open. It's going to take it a quick minute. And since I've done this before, it should take me right to the folder that I've already. As you can see, it's thinking about it. So it's got my my cursor has the little spinning blue circle. Now, lots of things run super fast on this computer, but this particular application where it's an emulator and I'm emulating part of the functionality, then it's slow. So, all right. So here I am. It's starting to load. The browser winner to pick the game I want. And I'm going to pick this one. It puts it down the bottom and I say open. Let's set this down here for a second. Top up here it says uh, it's trying to load DirectX 12 and um, this is currently the only ISO I have copied over and then I just work on uh, over and over and over trying to get this to just load just, just the functionality of loading I don't really um, I'm not really worried about anything else so there's the cave and then we should see the splash screen oh no, it crashed so but that's pretty much what happens anyway so I'm going to try some other games I'll put the information in the thing uh, down in the description you guys can uh, enjoy seeing if you can uh, if you'd like to try some more. Alright, thanks.